Hi, I'm Bob, product manager for Brother QL Label Printers. Today we're going to talk to you about our new version of iPrint and Label, version 5. New version 5, basically we've redone the UI design and made it more uh, applicable to designing labels inside the application. You're more now free to design the application and move around objects and text inside the iPrint and Label application. We're going to show you that here. So first off, you can see that the new screen got redesigned. At the top, we have our My Labels. And then we also have on the top part all the different templates that you can download to create labels with. So we have address, give you a sample address labels. Just scroll through a couple of them here. Name badges. We have price tags. It also supports, as you can see here, the red and black color labels for the QL800 series. We'll show you how those print. So in this case, we're just going to pick one here, a template. It will come up here, and then I have the ability to edit it if I want to. I can scroll in. And then if we were to print this, right now I'm connected to the QL800 using the USB to go cable or an OTG cable. These are readily, uh, this is sold separately and readily available online or at other retailers. We can basically come here, we can click the print button. We are going to select the printer and I have the QL800 picked there. We're going to cut at the end there and then we're going to click the print button and this will send it to the printer. And then out comes our, our label there. We can also change it around. So we will now go and exit out of the template that's here. And we will start a label from scratch. So down here is the new icon here for creating a label from scratch. We can click that. And it gives us our canvas here. And it starts out with putting in any text that you want for a label. So if we put in the word sale, we can have that there. We can also click on it. We can move it around by just dragging our finger. So what you can also do is tap onto the little blue buttons that are on the corners of it and then at that point you will be able to resize the text and it will shrink the text to fit into the cell there. And then again as I said we can move it by clicking and then as you move it you will see lines that show up for the center of the label horizontally and vertically to help you adjust where exactly to position your text. The other part what I print and label now with version 5 we can click the plus button and you can see all the different various things that we can add to it. So we can add many text boxes, we can add symbols, we can add images that come from your phone or taken from the camera, we can add barcodes, we can add directly from your contacts information and we can add the time and date stamp. So just to show you a couple of the symbols, there's very many symbols that can be added. There's different categories at the top here that you can pick from and then we can just pick a symbol and add that into the label and again we can drag that along as well too. Make it closer, make the label smaller. We can add all these various different things to your label. So if you want to add time and date, we can pick that, pick the date, and then we can automatically set what uh, time and date you want, whether it gets automatically printed when the label is printed, it uses the, depending on which printer you have, whether it uses the time in the printer or from the application. Now we just say done, and it'll add the time and date into there.
then we can also save these templates into the application. They now save as an LBX file, which is compatible with PTouch Editor as well. So label designs that are made on iPrint and Label can also be transferred and be used into uh, PTouch Editor and also from PTouch Editor into iPrint and Label. We can also change the font. So if we click the text there, we click the font button there, we can change it to the red text. We can also change the size, we can make it bold, we can change the font itself by going here, picking a different font. And then we get out and then the text is changed. Then we can always save that. And we can give it a name. And then we can print this as well. So when we go to the printers, we'll see here that it gives you the list of printers. It automatically searches out there for any Wi-Fi printers. It also searches for Bluetooth printers and then the one that I have connected by USB. So this time we're going to print to the QL810 uh, 820 NWB via Bluetooth. We're going to pick that, hit the print button. And then this will send it over via Bluetooth to our Brother QL820 NWB printer. And then we get a label just like that. In iPrint and Label, we can also set the different various sizes of the labels that are available with the QL. We can also tell it to go check the media of the printer that's inside of the printer itself by just clicking the print check media and then it will automatically select it for you. Then we can always exit out of this and click on the edit and then you see our save label is, is presented there for us to select from any previous labels that we had made. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you found this video informative. For more information, visit us at brother.com.